Right, lots of short videos I'm going to have to join up. I've just come down from Little Bradley Cross and found this little public footpath plus this stonewall style. And uh, what a lovely view from here. For example, you've got Nyland Mound over there, look, where I was earlier. I'm going to zoom right in again, but from a different angle because I'm further down the hill now. There again, the trig point, I stood right on that. The cows have all gone home now. What a beautiful view, everyone. Absolutely stunning it is around here. This is our Somerset, all this. And then once again out to there. Crook's Peak is so photogenic, Crook's Peak is, to, to be quite honest. It, it really is beautiful. Look at that with that lovely cloud above it as well. Look. It's almost like one of a white arrow, like lightning bolt, like Bowie's coming down on the top on your white. Isn't that beautiful? That's magical, that is. That's magical. There's Cheddar. All the way around, we've got beauty. We've been blessed today with a lovely, lovely day. Warm breeze. Didn't need the umbrella, didn't need a coat, didn't need a jumper. No, I trusted the weatherman. They've been quite good at their forecast lately. So I carry on down now. This is a very good choice of mine, you know. I didn't know it was going to be so rewarding. I thought, oh dear, I might be, I might get run over all the time and things like that. Look at this lovely Nylon Mound. I should be doing all this video over the weekend to get on YouTube to share. Absolutely gorgeous. Passing all the farms I passed earlier as well. Beautiful. It's worth going up there now and again just to remind ourselves what beauty we've got everywhere. There's Bradley Cross up there. And now we're going down. Further down now, back into Cheddar, we've got time. We don't have to rush. We can relax. It's worked out quite well, really, without... Um, I think if I'd had the extra hours now, I would have strength, put a lot of stress on myself. By, I would make myself climb all the way up there, for example. I, I'd be up there now. Uh, so I've got to really take it a bit steady, because the plan is to visit um, bits of Exmoor, Porlock and all that over that area soon to do some hikes. So I don't want to be too burnt out. I haven't been feeling 100% today um, alertness, uh, you know, a bit more tired than usual, but that's because I've needed to get out. I find when I stay in, it's almost suffocating. Is something coming. That's it. So there's, a, look, here's another way up. If you look for the signs each time, look. Public footpath, if you followed that up now, that's another way for you to, if we just go up to the corner. Because what was going to happen soon, we're going to be back in, um, you know, busyness place. It looks like somebody's left a can of cider for us. Or they've left it. No, they've drunk it and gone. Can of Thatcher's, look. See, there's another little drove. You get all over this place, you get these little pathways. So that must be the way up there. There's a pathway. This is private land, it's saying. So that sign there must mean, instead of going on the road, you can plow through there, look. Once again, I wouldn't have known. It's hidden. It's all this hidden stuff. Oh, I can actually see an animal in there. It's a big goat with huge horns. I wonder what that noise was. 
in there, which I can't point out with my camera, is a ram with fantastic big horns. Um, big, big, big curly ones. He banged on the fence as if to say, here. Oi, here. So, so it's worth, it was worth me coming up for this small diversion to know that there's a hidden pathway that goes all the way up the hill there. Something you might not know if you hadn't done the diversion. If you'd been in a car, you wouldn't have done it, would you? It's getting busier now. People are coming home, eager to get home for tea. But it hasn't been bad. I haven't really had a lot of trouble with any traffic. But it, it's starting to widen now that we're coming near civilization. 30 mile an hour signs. They should be 15, shouldn't they, in the country? Look how it's sculptured like a tunnel as we go down through this next bit. Yeah, I'm really, really glad that I... Uh, Decide to have a go at this particular route. Yeah, that's a good idea. Because I've, I do, I like to do something different. Because um, I do the other routes. Up and over the top, through the woods, up on the top and all. I do them a lot. And I still love doing them. But every now and again it's nice just to think, Oh, well there is that alternative track, Sheila, that you haven't tried yet. See, look at that there. They've got a sign where you can go as fast as you like. Now, that shouldn't be that. It should be 15, 20 miles an hour along these back lanes, I'm afraid. Yeah, I know where we are now. I think I can recognise a garden. This is going to lead straight down into Cheddar in a minute, if my th thoughts are right. Um... I can never remember the name of the, the lanes. Um, I might be wrong, of course. It might be not. It might be something else. It just looks to me as where I normally turn up and go up, following the West Mendit Way. Um, and lovely, isn't it? Glad there'll be sunshine. I might not be. No, maybe I, maybe I have got it wrong. Hold on, let's have a look. It's quarter past. We've just, well, not missed. Um, yeah, I reckon I'll go this way. I've got a feeling this is the way I should go. I'm not sure yet. But I'm just going just gonna to go up here for a minute. Because I don't really want to go down the other side of Cheddar. I want to go towards... Um... Hello, horsey! Hello! How are you? All right? Hello? I've got a feeling if I go this way... Right, turn it off for a minute. 